Hello, welcome to Dental Notes and Mnemonics. Today we are going to discuss the oral pigmented lesions. We will walk through step by step approach to diagnose the pigmented oral lesions. So, without any delay, let's get started with the video. As per Schaefer's definition of oral pigmentation, oral pigmentation refers to any coloration of the oral mucosa that is different from normal pinkish hue resulting from deposition of pigment either exogenously or endogenously this definition emphasizes that pigmentation can be physiological as in case of racial pigmentation or pathological such as melanotic macules mochas melanosis or systemic conditions like addison's disease the pigment involved may originate from within the body means it is endogenous in nature like melanin and hemosiderin or from the external sources or exogenous in nature this includes amalgam tattoo and heavy metal ingestion oral pigmentation broadly can be classified into two categories melanocytic and non melanocytic melanocytic uh, pigmentation originates from melanin a pigment which is derived from amino acid tyrosine and is synthesized by melanocytes which are primarily located in the basal cell layer of the epithelium while the melanin in the skin mainly protects against the uv rays and gives skin its color in the oral mucosa it contributes to pigmentation but has a minimal protective role since the areas is not exposed to sunlight the depth of the pigment affects the perceived color Although melanin is brown to black in color it can appear blue or blue gray when it is located in the deeper in the connective tissue this happens because shorter blue wavelength of light scatter more when passing through the tissues a principle known as tindall effect clinically this helps us to understand why certain oral pigmented lesions like blue nevus or deep amalgam tattoo may present with a bluish hue even if the pigment itself is not blue melanotic pigmentation can be physiological or pathological pathological includes uh, genetic conditions like uh, peutzeger syndrome inflammation certain drugs and neoplasm like oral melanoma clinically uh, melanotic uh, lesions can present with focal multifocal or diffuse pattern focal means uh, the pigmentation is localized in a small or single area Let's discuss the uh, focal melanotic uh, lesions. First it includes the oral or labial melanotic macule. This is small, flat, brown to black spot commonly seen on the lower lip and oral mucosa. It is harmless and caused by increased melanin without any increase in the melanocytes. Histologically we see melanin in the basal layer and sometimes uh, pigment leakage into connective tissue it does not grow or change much but biopsy is done if it appears irregular once the uh, microscopic diagnosis is obtained no further treatment is necessary since oral mucosal malignant melanomas have no defining clinical characteristics a biopsy of any persistent solitary pigment lesion is always warranted second lesion is uh, which appears suddenly and grows rapidly often in young uh, black females is oral melanoacanthoma it's reactive lesion usually due to trauma and seen on the buccal mucosa Unlike the macule both melanocytes and keratinocytes increase in the number histology shows thickened epithelium with dendritic melanocytes spread throughout once biopsy confirms the diagnosis of oral melanoacanthoma no further treatment is typically required if a source of irritation is identified it should be eliminated to reduce the likelihood of reoccurrence Melanotic uh, nevus is a oral version of a mole. Melanocytes are normal pigment cell that produce melanin and are found in the basal layer of the skin and oral mucosa. A nevus on the other hand is a benign cluster of melanocytes forming a visible lesion. Oral melanocytic nevi are rare and classified based on the location of nevus cells. Junctional nevi lie at the junction of epithelium and connective tissue junction. compound nevi are uh, cells in both the junction and the deeper layers 
Intramucosal nevi have cells only in some mucosa. These lesions appear as brown, black or blue spots, flat or raised. They are usually harmless and have no functional role, but rarely they can turn into melanoma. Malignant melanoma, though primarily a skin cancer, can rarely occur in oral cavity, making up less than 1% of all the cases. It is more common in individuals over 50 years, especially among black and Japanese population. Oral sites like palate and maxillary gingiva are typically affected. Lesions may appear as dark patches, plaques or nodules, but can also be non-pigmented include ulceration, pain, tooth mobility or paresthesia though some cases are asymptomatic. The ABCD criteria helps in early detection especially for cutaneous melanoma but may assist in identifying oral uh, lesions as well. A key prognostic factor is breast low depth which measures tumor thickness from the surface to the deepest point of invasion. Clark's level uh, describes how deep the tumor has penetrated through the skin layers. While Clark's uh, level was once widely used, uh, breast low depth is now preferred for its accuracy, especially in predicting prognosis. AGCC staging system, the depth of the tumor more than 4 mm carries a very high risk of metastasis. Prognosis is poor especially for the palatal regions and 5 year survival rate is 15 to 14% only. The treatment includes a wide surgical excision often with radiation, immunotherapy or chemotherapy. Now let's discuss the diffuse and multifocal melanotic pigmentation though these two terms are quite confusing. But uh, diffuse pigmentation is the one that is uniformly spread over a wide area of mucosa without clear borders as it occurs in uh, physiological pigmentation covering most of the gingiva and buccal mucosa. On the other hand, multifocal pigmentation appears in multiple distinct areas of the oral mucosa with intervening normal tissue. Patchy brown spots seen in smokers' melanosis or drug-induced melanosis are a form of multifocal pigmentation only. Physiological pigmentation is normal pigmentation, commonly seen in people with darker skin tones. It is not a disease or does not need any treatment. You will see uh, brown or black areas on the gingiva, buccal mucosa or palate. It is symmetric and stable over the time. Seen in chronic smokers or known as uh, smokers melanosis, especially in those uh, people who smoke cigarettes, BD or pipe tobacco. The chemical in the smoke stimulates melanocytes to produce more melanin. This appears as a diffuse brown black patches most commonly on the anterior gingiva and often it is also common in females due to hormonal influence. There is no treatment for smokers melanosis and uh, tissue uh, can return to normal uh, color in 6 to 36 months after quitting the smoking. Drug induced melanosis is a harmless pigmentation that appears in the mouth due to certain medications. Common drugs include minocycline, chloroquinine, hydroxychloroquine, oral uh, contraceptives. These medicines stimulate melanin producing cells leading to brown, grey or bluish black patches in the area like gums, cheeks and tongue. Diagnosis is mostly clinical based on the patient drug history and the location of pigment. A biopsy is rarely needed unless the lesion appears suspicious. Post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation happens after an injury or inflammation to the oral mucosa, for example after lichen planus, trauma or ulcers. The healing process may leave behind a dark patch due to increased melanin in the skin. Mucocutaneous pigmentation can be a sign of underlying systemic diseases. For example, Edison's disease causes skin bronzing and oral melanosis. Diagnosed by low morning cortisol and high ACTH. Cushing syndrome present with oral and skin pigmentation diagnosed through a dexamethasone suppression test. Graves disease shows melanosis in some black patients linked to thyroid hormone abnormality. 
primary biliary uh, cirrhosis leads to diffuse pigmentation with elevated liver uh, enzymes and antimicrobial antibodies vitamin b12 deficiency can cause pigmentation glossitis anemia reversible with vitamin b12 treatment pude zeger syndrome features pigmented macules and gastrointestinal polyps confirmed by genetic testing fa oli spots are light brown oval shaped skin lesions they are usually harmless but they can be associated with conditions like neurofibromatosis 1 mccune albright syndrome or noonan syndrome in neurofibromatosis 1 six or more such spots especially larger than 5 mm are key diagnostic features non melanin associated pigmented lesions are caused by factors other than the melanin these includes hemangioma which is uh, a cluster of blood vessels that appears red or purple hematomas due to blood leakage from trauma that appears blue or purple and exogenous pigmentation due to the foreign materials like tattoo or metals causing color changes lipofistin accumulation seen as brownish spots uh, can also contribute to pigmentation often due to aging these lesions are typically benign uh, though underlying causing causes should be assessed acchymosis purpura petechia then uh, hemochromatosis uh, and hematoma are all conditions involving blood leakage or iron deposition in the skin but they differ in their characteristic acchymosis refers to the large bruises caused by trauma changing color from purple or blue to green or yellow as the blood breaks down Purpura on the other hand consists of a large purple or red spots caused by blood vessel leakage often from clotting disorders or infections Petechia are small pinpoint red or purple spots from small blood vessels rupture usually caused by increased pressure or clotting issues Hemochromatosis is a genetic uh, iron overload uh, disorder leads to bronze or gray skin tone from iron accumulation in the tissues in contrast a hematoma is a raised swollen collection of blood outside the blood vessels typically caused by trauma which appears as a purple or blue lump or may change its color as the blood is reabsorbed each condition involves blood or iron in the tissues but they differ in their appearance underlying cause and the way the blood is distributed or stored exogenous pigmentation results from foreign substances entering oral tissue the most common is amalgam tattoo it is seen as a bluish black flat lesion typically on gingiva or buccal mucosa near restored teeth it forms when dental amalgam accidentally gets embedded during the procedures radiograph may show radio opaque flakes helping confirm the diagnosis it is stable asymptomatic and often needs no treatment in contrast graphite tattoo follow pencil injury ornamental tattoos are uh, cultural medicinal or heavy metal uh, cause uh, diffuse uh, bluish gray discoloration drug induced pigmentation varies in shade and hairy tongue traps pigments due to elongated papilla clinical history and radiographic support aid into the differentiation of different uh, exogenous pigmentation logier hanzeker pigmentation is a benign idiopathic condition marked by multiple dark macules on labial and buccal mucosa often extending to perioral skin nails and occasionally to other areas like uh, genitalia or conjunctiva it typically affects adults and shows no clear racial preference while clinically it is similar to pude zeger syndrome but it lacks systemic conditions when examining a pigmented oral lesion first determine if it is localized or generalized for localized lesions check if it is a single spot or multiple a single blue or purple lesion that blanches on pressure likely to indicate a vascular origin like varix or hemangioma if it does not blanch consider a nevus melanoacanthoma or amalgam tattoo especially if it is near the fillings 
अ ब्राउन और ब्लैक लीजन मे बी ओरल मेलेनोटिक मैक्यूल इफ फ्लैट और वेल डिफाइंड और अ नीवस मेलेनो कंथोमा इफ इट इज रेस्ड एनी लीजन दैट इज इरेगुलर एंड लार्जिंग और ब्लीडिंग में सजेस्ट ओरल मेलेनोमा एंड शुड बी बायोपस्टीट मल्टीपल लोकलाइज स्पॉट्स कुड इंडिकेट स्मोकर्स मेलेनोसिस ड्रग इंड्यूस पिगमेंटेशन प्यूर सेगर सिंड्रोम ऑफ इज लॉजिकल पिगमेंटेशन इफ द पिगमेंटेशन इज जनरलाइज चेक इफ इट इज लिमिटेड टू माउथ और ऑल्सो इन्वॉल्व स्किन और नेल्स आइसोलेटेड ओरल पिगमेंटेशन माइट बी फिजोलॉजी एस्पेशली इन डार्कर स्किन टोन्स और लिंक टू स्मोकिंग और मेडिकेशन इफ ऑल्सो अफेक्टिंग स्किन और नेल्स कंसिडर सिस्टमिक कॉजेज लाइक एडिसंस डिजीज प्यूट जेगर सिंड्रोम एच आई वी और एंडोक्राइन डिजॉर्डर्स लाइक कशिंग सिंड्रोम की इन्वेस्टिगेशन इंक्लूड डायस्कोपी फॉर वेस्कुलर लीजन्स रेडियोग्राफ्स टू डिटेक्ट एमलगम बायोपसी फॉर सस्पिशियस लीजन एंड ब्लड टेस्ट टू आइडेंटिफाई सिस्टमिक डिजीजेज अ स्ट्रक्चर अप्रोच बेस्ड ऑन द लोकेशन अपेरेंस एंड हिस्ट्री हेल्प्स टू गाइड ट्रीटमेंट एंड मैनेजमेंट सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट द पिगमेंटेड लीजन्स इन द ओरल कैविटी होप यू फाउंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल subscribe to the channel for more videos like this see you in the next video till then bye bye take care have a nice day